Hello everyone, this is Ray Islam again and today we will talk about word prediction by natural language processing and we will use BART. We will show how we can predict word, missing word, must word based on BART, Robert and ExcelNet. In this example, I am going to use Happy Transfer. Happy Transfer is basically an API built on PyTorch and it has many NLP associated libraries one of the most important feature related to today's video the available language model happy transformer wrapped around includes excelnet bart and robert so we will see coding in using all these three methods and we will see how they perform and there are other features of happy transfer as well now in today's video like i mentioned today we're going to talk about happy robert happy excelnet and happy bird and these are the associated feature all three of them can do word prediction and there are some upgrade features in between too you can basically come here to this reference and so so first of all what is bart what is roberta and what is excelnet so bar stands for bidirectional encoder representations from transformers nlp technique invented by google if you come here archivex you will see there are a couple of papers posted on bart including the initial one that google published bart has some weaknesses like bart neglects dependencies between masked positions excelnet appear to troubleshoot those limitations there is a paper on excelnet you can pause this video and go here and you will be able to read that paper in detail bard is wrapped around on pytorch applications bard can be used for word predictions sentence predictions preparing chatboards answering questions somewhat like google search but it can be customized according to your need and sentiment analysis and there are much more feel free to visit these urls to learn more one of the benefit of bard is bard is pre-trained especially the one model i'm going to show pre-trained means all the training and test data set has been generated you don't need to generate any data you can build your model and your problem area and still that will align with the existing data set. The pre-trained BART that I'm going to show, show today is based on Wikitext 103. And in this one, 103, there are over 103 million tokens and over 0.25 million vocabulary. And this is one of the example of types of data it has. Uh, if you want, you can go to these links and you will be able to download this data. And once you download this data, it will be in dot .token format. If you open, you will see this is how the data are. As an example, there are thousands of rows of data, paragraphs, on different topics as an example gold dollar or gold one dollar price was a coin struck as a regular issue and and you can go on and you can read if you want and you can go ahead and you, you can include your own data as well or you can just totally build BART based on your own data set it doesn't have to be wiki text or you can use wiki text and you can upgrade using your own data set I will show you what to get the instructions how to update this data set let me show you a few urls if you come to archive then you'll be able to find many papers including google papers and you can search here whatever papers you need so for example if you search bart you will see all the papers associated with bart if you come to this url this is the happy transformer and you already saw this information you can read further this is the github repository where all the data source configuration file and everything is here and associated libraries you can read more about the roberta how it has been pre-trained and all the specifications this is the wiki text 103 if you want you can download once i download and open the token file looks like this and there are many tokens it only show token what 18 plus 18 which is uh, 36 kilobyte and there are, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge file 539 megabyte and this is the tokenization this is also preview tokenization is done this is how it looks beyond this point let's do coding and let's see how we can use this pre-trained model and we can predict missing words masked words also called i'm going to use google colab because colab lets us use gpu and tpu for free i'm going to use gpu though and if you have your gpu set up in your local machine you don't have to use colab you can just use anaconda or one of those python ide you can also even do it in linux and linux or unix environment now this is the notebook i got let me call this robert that's the first one we're gonna do roberta i'm going to open Open new notebooks as well. I'm going to name this Bart. Let me open another one. 
I'm going to name this Excel net. It is going to be only few lines of code. Let's work on Roberta. First thing we do, we have to install Happy Transformer. We have to bring this library. So install Happy Transformer. I'm going to run this one. Now I'm going to import the library. Then I'm going to import Happy Roberta. So from Happy Transformer import happy roberta which is here i'm going to import happy roberta i'm going to run this one it did run no error message then i'm going to initialize so let's call this happy r i'm going to have to recall this one so happy roberta then i'm going to call the pre-trained library based on roberta large large has more data there are two versions of roberta base and large large is more robust so i'm going to import that once i do that is done let's call this test r test r o let's call this test r let's try bars are flying over the i'm going to mask this one i'm allowed to use only one mask and they are happy that is my sentence this is the gap i want my model fill out this blank this is going to be word prediction now let me run summary and named it as happy r okay already pulled out happy r i'm going to predict predict what predict mask and what is my mask seeding on test r test r and let me print summary error was it was considering this as a syntax but it was a comment actually so i'm going to comment out and it's running so it's giving me all the possible possible words you can read the details it is still spinning that means it's still generating more analysis result let it finish actually it's bringing the whole list i don't need to see the whole list okay so it stopped it's very difficult for me to go to the entire list so let me bring the summary to five i want to see the top five so bars are flying over the blank the top five one of them is suggesting the word city softmax which is a probability it's a 10 percent probability world a little bit less probability another word is suggesting ocean bars are flying over the ocean bars are flying over the us united states bars are flying over the uk united kingdom i mean all of them make sense Looks like city has higher probability. So city might be more appropriate word. So if we do BART, we can see it's predicting city. If we put this word into the blank, it would read as birds are flying over the city and they are happy. The second one would be birds are flying over the world and they are happy. So this is how we can predict the missing words that should be appropriate. Fill in the blanks. It gives us multiple options and it gives us the this algorithm is also letting us know which one would make more sense. Birds are flying over the city and they are happy. It makes sense, right? And then over the world. Ocean makes sense too. Now this can be fine-tuned. Efficiency can further be intensified. So those are separate conversation and you can read associated paper and resources. You can do that. Uh, maybe in future I'll post more videos. Now we did this based on Roberta. Let's do this based on BART. If we do BART, let's just copy going to copy this is a foreign platform i don't want to take any chance if it was my own machine i would have more confidence on the environment the second line i have to import third line i have to import this time we are going to import the other option which is happy bird say for an example this is a bird script if we run this let's see what happens it did run the next line if we copy basically this one I have to run no i did i am i'm missing one line you know what i have to do i'm gonna have to make sure i'm defining this okay this is a user defined function going to build which is this one i'm going to call this first i'm going to call this one first but this is definitely not roberta right in this case this is bart and this one cannot be robert either i can just leave bart as it is I'm going to use the robust, more robust version. The more robust version would be if I do BART, if I come to this page, and if I do BART, K is one. This is base, this is the large one. Large one has more data like this here. I'm going to call the large version, and I'm going to run the same thing, and let's see what happens this time. 
and it's running everything it did not catch the first five i'm gonna have to rerun and this time it will catch the first five this time it's suggesting trees water fields so birds are flying over the trees and they are happy birds are flying over the water and they are happy in this case looks like bart makes more sense over roberta but roberta is supposed to be more efficient than bart but for my example this makes more sense than roberta print summary i want to see the first one if we do the second highest probability one that would be field this is not the second actually this is the second it starts from zero what would be the second third would be the field it goes on now let me do the same thing in excel net let me just copy i'm going to run everything again. oh it's saying too many session okay started working terminate few of the sessions i'm going to import hyper transformer happy transformer i believe I'm, i call this hyper transformer a few times it's not hyper it's happy transformer like the transformer movie just happy i want to import this time happy excel net everyone is happy now i'm going to call happy the large version i got happy air user function called let's do an example but to be honest i don't need so many if i just run the first five it, this time it is saying who birds are flying over the who and they are happy birds are flying over the you and they are happy birds are flying over the same and they are happy over that over those so looks like excel net is not showing good promises in this case so to make excel net work we need to tune it but to be honest the practical solution is i would focus more on bart and robert instead of excel net. okay so bart and robert are the winners that's all thank you everyone